oh, here I am sitting on the steps of my boys' playroom. Their playroom is actually in the attic space of our house, which has been redone. You can see. So what am I doing? I am trying to see and gather all the things that I can because you know what? I've been having a big problem lately. I don't know if you guys have this problem, but I certainly am feeling it. So I have two sons, my two oldest are in school, a third grader, sorry, no, not third grade. I keep thinking he's third grade because I don't want him to grow up, but he's actually a fourth grader and I have a second grader as well. And then my preschooler who pretty much just goes half days to school. So this is what the problem is. When my boys come home from school, my two oldest, you know, they take a little bit of a break, have a little snack, and then it's off to do homework or study, whatever it is that they need to get through the day um, to prepare for school the next day, if they're studying for a test or anything like that. Now we do have a home office, which I am trying to make it into my main office and then have space for the boys as well so that they can concentrate and do their work there while I'm sitting at my desk as well. But the problem is, I have a little precocious preschooler that gets in the way and has a really, really hard time with letting mommy help her brothers, help his brothers. And that's the problem. He starts getting into trouble sometimes. He either comes and bugs his brothers or if we leave him somewhere else, he makes a mess and does all sorts of things. So I'm having a big, big problem with that. Now, when my firstborn started going to school, I remember that I did a busy box for my middle son and pretty much just put like a bunch of toys that I normally wouldn't have had out for him. So whenever I did homework or had to do some goal review something with my oldest, Logan, I would give Blake this little busy box so that he can kind of like keep himself busy and do things as mommy was trying to help you know his brother so I'm trying to create four busy boxes that Dylan will use one for each day of the week Monday Tuesday Wednesday and uh Thursday Friday we don't do homework or anything like that so we don't need a fifth box and that's really four boxes it's not even a big deal but I'm trying to incorporate things that could be also learning for him and things that could be tactile to keep him busy at least for an hour that's what I'm hoping for so I'm gonna test it out and I've searched on Amazon and I have a couple things in my wish list of the things that I would kind of want. But before that, I'm gonna see what I have at home that I normally don't take out for the boys that might be something that Dylan can use for his busy box. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna crawl into my attic crawl space where we keep a lot of our arts and craft supplies and some of those toys that I regularly don't put out for them and see what I can put together. So follow along and see what I can come up with. And this is a little bit of a journey of how Dylan is going to, you know, take this and we'll see if he likes it. And I will share all the things and maybe it'll be helpful for you if you have little ones and older ones and have a trouble with keeping them occupied while you're helping your older kids in school. So that's what I'm up to. Let's get started. As you can see, this is an unfinished kind of attic space, but we want to actually fix it up for the boys to use. We don't need the storage space as much, but this will be kind of like in arts room, invention room, our kids love to do crafts and science projects and all those things. So we are going to create this like little space for them here uh, eventually when it's not freezing outside because right now it's super cold in here. But see, I have a bunch of stuff in here. I'm going to look through what I have and then search, you know, the playroom as well to see what I have. But this is this is the space that eventually we will be redoing. I just wanted to give you guys a little glimpse of it. And then hopefully in the near future, you will see the end result.
Okay, so off the bat, I already found a couple things that I am gonna be putting in this busy box. Pipe cleaners. Kids love playing with pipe cleaners, especially when they're putting like little beads and creating like bracelets and creating little animals and things like that. So I'm definitely gonna do, one of the boxes could be kind of like a pipe cleaner, bracelet, arts and crafty box. I'm trying to also do a little themes. So this is definitely uh, something that's gonna stay. Ooh, another thing. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these, but I've gotten these at um, Michael's and they're great. It's like these little beads that come with these little trays with holes and you can create little shapes and things like that. And then if you wanna keep the shape, can't see that because that one's right. If you wanna keep the shape, you can iron it and it co comes together. You can make like um, little things like uh, keychains and stuff like that. So I have a bunch of these. These only go out when we're actually working on some project, but it would be cool like to have Dylan, you know, work on them. Let me show you a picture of one of the examples, just like that. So they give you like a guide where to put everything and then, and then you do it. You know, some of them you can even kind of put them underneath and follow the dots, like just line them up and you can do that. So, and if the image is bigger, you just connect these, if you get my drift. So one box will be definitely this. I'm also saving money because otherwise I would have to buy all the things that are in my Amazon cart and they're really, really great. So I will buy a couple of them, but and maybe, you know, rotate some of the boxes as, as he gets a little bit bored with some of the things. But I'm trying to keep it that it's like the same every um, day of the week. Like Monday is always going to be the Monday box and Tuesday the Tuesday box, etc, etc. So that's one of the things. I also have these like felt little things. We have a lot of arts and crafts stuff in our house because I love DIY. I love arts and crafts. We have these letters. He's definitely learning his letters. He is so smart, let me tell you. I think the third one is always like the most smartest of the kids because they pick up all the things that they have from their older brothers, which is a good thing and also a bad thing because I think they grow up so fast. But we'll see. I have beads and certain things like this in here. Maybe I could use this. I'm trying to be careful with a lot of the little tiny things because I'm a clean freak and I like things organized and sometimes the boys get me on my nerves when we're doing little projects like this and everything gets all over the place and it doesn't it doesn't turn out to be helpful so also the things that I'm going to be putting in the busy box are things that he can do on his own that are not so crazy of a mess that I have to clean up or get upset about because he made a mess and that's pretty much it he can do on his own not super messy and just fun you know I want him to have fun and keep him busy for at least an hour we're just hopefully we'll do that right and I did go to the dollar store and by the way when did the dollar store turn into the dollar 25 store I haven't I guess I haven't been in the dollar store for a very very long time because um ordering things has been you know my my thing but Jeez, I thought I was gonna get these for a dollar, just a dollar, but no. They were $1.25 and I got four of them that I needed. They come with the lids. I'm gonna put a label that says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and this is where the busy boxes will be for Dylan to use. So let me put these together. So these are great. These um, little makers sets, you can get these at Michael's. Basically, this is what I'm doing. You can create little things and then put them somewhere, play with them. If you dampen them with some water, you can make other things. So you can definitely have uh, lots of fun with this. I know what you're thinking. These beads are gonna be all over the place and they're gonna drive me crazy, right? But my trick for this is that 
I have trays for the boys for when they're doing arts and crafts or projects like that and everything kind of falls on the tray. So wherever I'm going to set these bins for Dylan to use, I'm also gonna have a tray there for him to have it for um, playing. I've completed all four of the busy boxes for my toddler so that he can entertain himself while my older boys are doing homework. So the first box Monday has these kind of packing things that he can create little activities with. The second one has those little beads that come with the trays that he can create objects with. And Wednesday, pipe cleaners, things he can make bracelets with, and little sticks. I'm seriously, like, he will entertain himself with all this stuff. It might not seem much, but as long as he creates something with it, it's fine. And then Thursday is kind of like an art box. I have stamps, little stamps here, some watercolor, some crayons, the stamp pad, and something to stamp on and like a little coloring book as well that he had. So that's basically it. I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna change it out every couple of um, weeks. Let's see how entertaining each box is and then figure out if one of them is working or not, if I should change it out and do different ones every week. In a way, I'm trying to go cost effective, but things that will keep him busy. I also have like sticky letters and things like that. I can do one that's a like learning one one day. I can do a holiday version with all the things that I buy the boys to do like things where there's like a holiday. Hey guys, how's homework going on? Good. Oh, hey Dylan, guess what? I have a surprise for you. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Hold on. Guess what? Yeah. Mommy made you some boxes, so when Logan and Blake are doing homework, you can do an activity. Look, you can even make a little ball. I'm gonna make a new one. Okay, ball. so make sure that you're what? Using the tray and not gonna spill anything, right? Okay, let me, let me just... Okay, get started while I help the, uh, Blakey and Logan for homework, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, so I can do this. Look, mommy. Cool, what did you make? A train snake. A train snake, wow. What do you think, you like your busy box? Thumbs up or thumbs yeah. down? Thumbs up. Okay. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.